Ngozian alignment yes. set back to this canal part. Yes, sir. To Ikota River. Yes. yes. yes now, when Moses is served on these people to abate this nuisance they've caused, yes or no? Excuse me, when they serve notices, three years down the road, government will not wait for people to take the loss to their hand and still benefit from it. Excuse me. This demolition started from that point. Yes, sir. And I won't wait here because I'm cool and a bit emotional about it. No. I'm not saying. Okay, excuse me. I will take this whole thing down to a quarter river. Heaven will not fall. I'm being very honest with you. The people that own these ones that were demolished, they don't have one head. You guys don't have two heads. We are all citizens and people have contravened on the law. And it's still, it's still this brazen attitude of we can do it, we can get away with it and nothing will happen. That is where, that is why we are where we are today as a people. The mantra is simple. You can't put something on nothing. And illegality can never beget legality. If you build on an illegal path, this is what they have done all this place. It's illegal. The worst part of it was at the point here, they closed the canal totally completely. And you saw it yourself. You saw the drone shot. So now, I didn't just start the enforcement today. I started two days ago. And I brought out, I brought down people's properties for being on the alignment. On what basis will I not leave your own? Sorry, sorry. Even, even the coming out. Thank you so much. Now done by who? Yeah, so I was right. That was the commissioner. So the commissioner also said that it is so sad that the government, the state government, had to take the very difficult decision to pull down the fully built up um, structures in Lekki, Lagos to reclaim the drainage setbacks for the free flow of storm water in the area. He stressed that the owners of the structures demolished in Ikota were aware that they were that I mean they had contravened and had um, and have had different engagements with the ministry from 2020 when most of those structures were at the foundation level and several notices served so today we're discussing checks and balances right for illegal structures and we're asking who is responsible uh, please let's hear what you have to say remember you can join the conversation send us an SMS or WhatsApp is right, one eight zero three eight four six six three. So this is a very interesting conversation, right? Before I came on air, I had to call a few friends of mine that are in the real estate business because, again, mm -hmm. um, this is not the kind of conversation that we want to start seeing uh, attacks or whatever. Let's come correct. First of all, they say that there's a master town planning plan for Lagos, right? Mm -hmm. And if you check that master town planning, right? It gives room for where you can build, where you cannot build, um, to check, you know, of course, you have to check whether those areas that maybe if you're buying from an estate or whatever, all of those areas do not um, go through some of this master plan. Because there are master plans for road, for drainages and all of that. And again, you know that we complain a lot about, I mean, I have been the one complaining and complaining and complaining about this, our Lekki Le Expressway. First of all, no drainages, the roads are really bad. One tiny, tiny accident, you're all stuck till God knows when. So, literally, right, um, if we see government doing this, they are in the right. Mm. Right? So let us establish that the government is right to demolish those structures. It's a painful thing to watch. I mean, if they are shown the other video where they were, you, you see the houses, the people were bringing out their properties, like, it was such a painful thing to watch. I was just trying to put myself in that position that, hey, what will I do? Like, literally, you're devastated. But you see, somebody said something to me, said, Ua, if you even check on the master plan in Lagos, there's something they call the coastal road. That that coastal road, it comes all the way from Oniru to Kalaba. Hmm. That's it. The day the government will wake up and say they want to wake up that coastal road. They want to do the coastal road. They want to do maybe all the, what, the whatever around that area. A lot of properties will go, even in this Oniru and all those places. Because it's a, it's a long line that goes all the way to Calabar. So that when you are buying a property, there are three entities involved, right? Mm -hmm. There are the Omonilers, mm -hmm. right? Where those ones are just there. They want to just say, bam, go. Mm -hmm. There are the developers. Do you understand? Mm. The, because there are, there are many entities in this, in this playing game. There are the developers that, you know, did not do their due diligence. Because even as a developer, you're supposed to go with a lawyer, mm -hmm. you understand, to go and check. 
that's why you pay those lawyers to go to the legal state lands and all of that. Yeah. Go and check. There's also the way the, the buyer. Mm. If the if the developer has refused to do his own checks, you as a buyer, yeah. you're supposed to check it. And of course, the overall body now covering everything is the government. Right? So yes, the government had given these people three years, right? Warning. But my questions, and when I ask these questions, I'll just leave it out for the ladies to respond. So it took three years for them to demolish this property. What happened? Why? Because even before, a, if, if a property is going up, mm -hmm. you see those government people coming to market X. Mm -hmm. So even if there was warning sign at the foundation level, somebody still must have collected a bribe to look away for those buildings to go to up. Go up. Mm -hmm. yes, true. So why did they allow those buildings to even come up in the first place? Mm -hmm. That's a question on the part of the government. And for the developers, you understand? Why did they not do their due diligence? And for the buyers, you understand? Why did they not just check? Mm. What are the things like the barriers that restrict people from actually accessing these information? Mm. So that's my question. Mm. Okay. Because, well, I think on that note, I'll, I'll just say that the, so most developers are actually very greedy people. Yeah, because once they sell, it's really none of their business anymore. Most of the time. They just don't care. As long as they sold, they probably made their money. They're not if it was a rental property now it would have been a very different case. But they're just developing the houses and then they're putting it out there for sale. So most of them are just it's better from a place of greed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the truth is, like you rightly said, somebody must have been bribed in the government, you know, to look away because after when they start a, a project, I'm sure maybe the government would have come there to see, okay, is it in the right place? Are you building the right thing and stuff like that? And then they eventually mark it X. But you see that most times those buildings still go up. It means that they have really paid someone. So it is the part it is greed on the developer's side one, and then it is also corruption on mm. the side of the government because they know that this thing is going to boomerang in the end. But because of what they stand to gain in the meantime, nobody really bothers about, oh, okay, are we doing the right thing? Are we not doing the right thing? Like you also said, the people that are buying, I don't think I want to carry my millions of naira right now to go and buy a house where the, 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 the um, document on that house is not a governor's consent. And I don't know that you'll be giving a governor's consent if your property is not standing on the ideal place it is supposed to stand. So is it, it's a, I mean, where I'll be shocked is if maybe they go to forge those kinds of documents. I'll be really amazed because I believe that once you have a governor, having a governor's consent on a property is one of the best um, documents you can actually have because it shows that it is not a gov um, government property. The government has allocated that land out, outside of the government. So it, is, it has probably gone to the community and then the community has also allocated it to a developer. So that's why Omonule will not come and be disturbing the developer that, oh, you're on our land, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, T, because that's already been allocated. So mm. if I'm not buying a house that has that document, I don't see any reason why. Even if I have that document at this point, due diligence is very important. You need to check on how many square meters is that house built. I mean, the area where it is built, are we really, really sure that it is not a government-owned property? Because most of the houses, when they come up, that's the reason why they get marked, because they, built, they were built on government-owned on government land. Hmm. And those kind of things won't work. So, at the end of the day, I, 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 I strongly believe that everybody has a role to play in all of this. Hmm. There's greed at play, there's corruption at play, and there's lack of doing due diligence at play. That's hmm. what I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so for me, I'm going to start from the end user, that's the buyer. Um, it's your hard-earned money. And I would imagine that you t make it your responsibility to know that you're not just throwing your money away. If you, especially in Lagos, if you have taken the time to put money together to buy a property, I'm not sure that you want to wake up and then tomorrow somebody says, get out of this place, you mm -hmm. understand? So again, um, developers or, I mean, whoever sells properties are only able to do what they do because they know that buyers do not care. Hmm. If two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buyers truly care and do what needs to be done, they would know that they need to do better. Yeah. There, there is that. Then, of course, developers, we, we have a culture, a mentality in Nigeria. There's nothing money cannot solve. Mm -hmm. As long as you have the money, there's always someone to talk to. 
So even when they know for a fact that it is wrong, mm. they say, mm, it's money, we will find somebody, don't worry. Mm. Now, she spoke, and um, Dami spoke about forging. While I may not be a hundred percent certain, you hear the stories. I mean, I have been in the trust business where one of the things that we talk to people about is ensure that you perfect your documents. That's very key. But again, Nigerians are rather laid back about documentation. Yeah. We, we don't think it is necessary. We don't let professionals do their job. Mm -hmm. So instead of you to engage a lawyer, you don't have to you pay. Say, eh, you don't have to pay. pay. Exactly. You say, let me look for one small person. 10K, just money. Jack me to do. So people will keep getting burned. Yeah. And of oh, this course, is a big burn. It, 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 it is. is. There is the, that homeless. Yeah. Like, oh God. There is the professional part of it. There are lawyers who are in, I mean, who are um, into property, you know, property, yeah, property law. Yeah, and law. Yeah. I mean, these are things that I would expect that at the convention, at the NBA convention, there should be serious conversations around this. There is the Institute of Surveyors, Architecture. I mean, all these have professional bodies. Mm -hmm. What are they doing? Mm. So if they cannot come together to set the building standards, construction standards, how real estate is supposed to operate in this country. Ah, you just touch a very sensitive place. Because if you I want to come to Mary. Because you see, we were just talking about standardized. You know, real estate has become one of the I most mean, porous. It's yeah. very porous. Is everybody can just build. Is there anybody? Everybody, everybody, can, everybody can just wake up and say, I'm, I'm a, a real estate My house has fire. I'm a developer. Exactly. So wow. we bought it. We bought a land many years ago from. I won't mention the name of the company. Till today, we don't even know where the lands are. And this thing, they did not only even just sell to individuals. They went to like a bank and they did like bulk. So imagine. A, an entire staff of an entire bank across all branches bought what? into that property. We don't know where that property is today. So that's an aside, right? Real estate is so porous that there are no, it is only very few people now. Mm -hmm. And again, you see, because it is based on personal, as a matter of personal principles and standards, because mm -hmm. nobody really checks these people, nobody. right? Nobody checks them. They wake up in the morning, you will see gutter. You will see big, big craters in front of your house. They will tell you this house is 10 billion. Mm. Oh, God, what are the parameters that make ensure a slice that of house, you understand? A slice of house now is going for how many millions? You, you know, you you know you won't get before, before, a, before price is placed on a property, mm -hmm. it is not just the property in itself, no. it is the environment, it's everything. So, most the materials, times, yes, everything. when I see some of the costing that they put on buildings, I say, please, on what parameters are you, are you putting this cost? But you see, guess what? They tell you it's the most booming industry. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody is doing this. Everybody is doing that. They're just carving out estate and building it. Yes, the real estate industry has really helped mm. to get a lot of people out of rented apartments, mm. yeah. get a lot of people into more structured living kind of style because mm. some estates are really structured. Yeah. You can take your walks. You can do all of those things. You can have like a decent environment. But in that same breath, mm. the real estate industry has been cantankerous. They've yeah. been known for doing things, you know, without any level of um, what's it called respect no respect for the yeah, respect for the for for the laws of the land yeah, yeah. because why would you a developer mm. you know let me come to you mary why are you looking at me with corner eyes <laughs> <laughs> because all, all that's going through my head is why are we so dishonest in this country mm. like to ourselves mm. and I understand the point that D made for um, the end users, which is the consumers. Mm. And so I'm just thinking of, you know, people who have made maybe quite a large sum of money. Mm. And, you know, there's, you have, you know, these real estate agents, like we see, mm -hmm. or, you know, however they're portraying themselves, you know, come to you. You want to help the person at the same time it's an investment for mm. you. You know, sometimes you might not... Maybe that's not the first property you have. You know, mm -hmm. your first one that you're living in is probably, you know, well, thoughtful and everything. Mm -hmm. So this one, you're saying, well, let me help this person. And then, you know, you put your money there and it's, you know, this is what you're getting. Mm -hmm. So my I'm, my question is, or my point is, why, why aren't they being regulated? Mm -hmm. Why is it that, you know, you just have these people just sending out their agents out there to say, you know, sell, 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 we need to make money, but then... You're selling what is not authentic, like 
I mean, why would you have a whole company that is built on lies? Hmm. <laughs> People just want to sell and make money. They just want I mean, to but, make but money. But that's, but that's wicked because when we now say the government, the government, we're doing our own sales. That's which because is, there which is, is nobody is to very, actually very regulate So why is there things? any? Why doesn't the government have any so, so, regulating body? Do you understand? So let me. I will come back to things. you on that, right? I'll come back to you. Um, because um, one of my friends that I called in, in this evening, she said there is a body. Mm -hmm. okay. So when we come back from the break, I will try to find that body and yeah. mention it, that there's a regulatory body now mm -hmm. that all these other bodies fall mm -hmm. under. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, truly, they were not there. But I think the government has been trying to clean up that space because, again, there's too much money going in there. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, it's our ladies' night out, and today we're having a conversation a very honest conversation with ourselves, right, around the checks and balances for illegal structures. And we're asking who is responsible. Please, let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 You can also call our phone line. The number to call is 07025 That's the number to call. Remember, please turn off the volume of whatever device it is you're watching us from so we can hear ourselves and we don't get a feedback. So I think the, the body that um i'd mentioned before when on a break let me see if i can pull it out it's the they call it the the agency of the lagos state government in charge of coordinating monitoring and regulating activities of practitioners in real estate so it's lagos state real estate regulatory authority mm -hmm. right so they have been working together and this uh, this body has a couple of things it, it has all the um all the key players in the real estate uh, value chain yeah. under the body so they are the ones like the governing body watching it now see i get it the part of legal things that you talked about but you see a lawyer too cannot even do their work if you i remember when when we we're going to start ways and i went to one particular lawyer oh they charged me billion i said choi on top of contract when I can just get one charge and pay to just do the contract for me. But it to some people it felt like I was wasting money. Do you understand that? Why would you spend so much money to draw up a contract when you can get somebody that will just and give you just give the person twenty K and the person mm. can just give you a contract? Mm. So when it comes and it's the same thing that goes across all body. It's not even just with legal. Yeah. Even with our health. Like, we literally don't understand how to value people's intellectual property. The lawyer that will, you would hand over a property to say, you know what, I want to go and buy this property. Help me look that everything is fine. That lawyer knows that tomorrow, if anything happens, mm -hmm. they, can, they can take his yeah. license. Yeah. Oh, so the lawyer would go. All the work that you are paying for, it is the work of traveling to... Because even in Alausa now, they will need to go and bring out that map, that location, that yeah. geography. They will do everything. They will give him a thorough or her, a thorough detail. You understand that they cannot come back to you and tell you, okay, madam, I think this property is good to, for, yeah. for purchase or not. But we don't want to pay those extra yeah. income to say, go and do this extra thing. Is it not foolishness that you spend 10 billion to buy a property that you did not check. And you cannot spend how much? Most people just believe that the people that they are buying from the developers or the real estate they've done, they've done their work. They already they have, trust they them they enough. They already, they already have, they already already have a be. legal department. No, that's the funny thing. Fine, the real estate company also has a legal department who helps them to check their own. But you as a buyer, you're bringing in so much money. I think you should have a personal lawyer. Yeah. It's just like an artist, like a musician. Yeah. Same because your record label has it. You, you as, have I, your because manager. If, if push comes to show, yeah. I mean, how do you yeah, handle you these things? I will have I a lawyer. I will you have yes. a lawyer. Yes. Because I get where money is coming from. No, because no, ideally, if we were in a no, but it, if let's we're in a no, sana, no, but even at even that, even in a sana country, we're talking about money. First of all, there is business mm. and there is my no, interest. But let me explain to you. So, so, so properties are abroad. Mm. All you need to do, mm. because guess what. All the listing is, is monitored by the government, right? Yes. All the listings of the properties that are on sale. If you go online, mm. if they tell you say this property is 62B, 
one thing, one thing is for sale. You just need to type the address. But that's a it, client. That's what I'm saying. It brings out all the details. Where this is where she's coming from. We don't because have, we have, have really. that. Exactly. We, we don't, don't have that. In Nigeria. We, so we can't exactly. afford to be putting ourselves. Now every individual should be having lawyers. We can't afford to be putting well, ourselves in messy it's situations it's like this. Can't. You can't. see the reality again. How? This is one of the things that we do. We try to explain. Ah, but ah, I try. No. If I'm dealing with you, first of all, you are loyal to your business. Your legal department is there to look after your and interests. to make sure that exactly. whatever um, we are to make sure that the client believes whatever we sell. Exactly. exactly. So the job. lawyer so is not even on my lawyer, own side. My own lawyer knows that he or she is going to be paid to look after my own best interest. Do you know why I'm even saying it? Okay, like that. Um, property now that I say you both still should you should you have gone to take lawyer? <laughs> no, Mary, that? for real. I'm just I'm saying because like take for instance. <laughs> no, let's re let's reasonable now. A young person wants to buy land. Do you understand? All these people they come, they give you a payment plan yes. and everything. Clearly, I have paid to clearly come you, come are, come you are still even struggling to even purchase the, the place. You see, now she has sugar. Mary, it's yeah. just quite We're not talking about unfortunate. We're not talking about uh, standardization. No, it's it. just quite unfortunate that mm. this is where Our we are found ourselves. Yeah. I mean, so if this is where we found ourselves, I think we should act accordingly. When you are in Rome, you, you behave, behave like, like a Roman. Roman. Mm. Just yeah, so that yeah. like you was <laughs> You <laughs> <laughs> Like this really, really honestly, because the truth honestly. is that lawyers that work for real estate companies they have just the real estate interest that are yeah. not entirely your own interest. Yes, they want you it's to believe. It's not cheap now. You yes, can. Want, I get what you mean. Uh -huh. Yes, they want you to believe that what they are okay, selling so which is, is real. Better. So the truth is that even if what they, even if they build that house on a gutter or on a government-owned property, the real estate lawyer will still come and tell you, oh, no. They have all the documentation. All the documentation. Why? Because he's a lawyer, so they expect that you would believe a lawyer. If a developer is telling you that they have all so of these things, what's, what's, what's the guarantee that the lawyer so, take now will not lie to you? The no, lawyer no, no, cannot no. lie to you because, because you're you seeing you the document. The it's not even that. On documents, mm. their signature, their bond, their, 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 what's it called? Lawyer but, number. But, if, 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 if the one for but, the real estate, but wait, let, let me, if the one for the real estate can can lie. I don't understand why. Let, let me support me. Mary. Wait, let me support Mary. <laughs> did, you, did you people see that? Let me drop one bombshell. Oh, yeah, that no. that lawyer, Kenya, that lawyer that won that many <laughs> cases. The one that and it was a fake lawyer. All oh, twenty five cases and it was a fake. I mean, I mean, yes, I mean, I mean. So that that's a practical example. Yes, yes. Oh, let's let's play devil's advocate. Of what yes, now? It's a reality. <laughs> yes. But it is always good to err on the side of caution. Okay, so let me let's yeah. bring this question back to the government and this situation now. They found themselves because I mean that watching that thing was quite devastating. It is. Do you think that the government should compensate? Why? Wait, may I land now? But that, um, that, um, D, uh, you will not. You would agree with me. That for those structures to have gone up, people would have taken bribes. Then they should look at the documents. Wait, wait, wait. So now they will be come. Who is it responsible? Not, wait, it now. Not, I don't know where you Wait, wait. Because, because, I want to hear where it was. No, because. D. Compensate <laughs> God. Wait, I'm not. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, wait, let's take a caller. Hold on. Let's take a caller. We'll take a chill pill. You're alive. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, I just want to contribute. Go ahead. The disappearing tennis issue and ah, okay. Uh, <laughs> the stuff that you earlier uh, talked about. Please go ahead, though. Is it real? I I'm a doctor. I work in the battle. Okay. And the case like that has been brought was brought by the police. Uh, a man claimed that a an elderly woman, maybe in herself, with very uh, smallish, asked her for a direction. He was urinating. And after she asked him for the road or for the direction, he just felt something in his body. Hmm. And um, he felt that his penis disappeared. So, I, as the doctor on duty, that I examined him. I said, the penis is still there. He said, but the people are not deciding. I said, there's nothing wrong with you. 
And I told him, said, uh, that he yeah, allowed us, he just trust and I have to have gone like that. Meanwhile, they had detained the woman in the police cell, she had slept in the police cell overnight. And by the time I said, okay, release this woman and come back tomorrow morning. You should have a lesson by the following morning. And everything was normal. Thank and you. there are many cases like that. Thank you, Doctor, for vindicating us. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, yes, vindicate. Yes, now. The, the next one we hear, we will tell whoever. Okay, snap me out of see. Let's, let's see, really, if that is. And it's not Photoshop, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't even want to. I don't want picture because you can Photoshop it. Okay. So back to the question back I was asking, uh, Dami, uh, D. Yes. Is it possible that we, we, because again, it's not enough. Now, the victims here, of course, would be the end users, but there has to be consequences. For that structure, if they say, according to what they said, that since 2020, they are giving them a notice mm -hmm. at foundation level, somebody, you know how government people do, yes. you know, they pretend, yes. somebody would have been going there every day to be collecting mm -hmm. uh, account balance every mm -hmm. month, monthly mm -hmm. salary. Mm -hmm. So who are those people mm -hmm. that were, were supposed to be assigned to that region? Because mm -hmm. they are monitoring agencies, all those people that come to mark big X now with, yeah. red, with red paint. Who are those people? Let them oh, fish yeah. them out. And those people need to also bear, face the consequences. But I think we have another caller. Thank you, you're live. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Yeah, go ahead. And uh, what, what my own take in the discussion, I think the government should set an agent that's responsible for monitoring of land. Because in Lagos, as I see, everybody has become a money less. Mm. They will say this clan because this belongs belongs to my father. <laughs> if, the, if 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 there is a book that covers let's just say as an agreement between the government and the people, mm. they will not have any 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 structure or any 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 power to build to build a house before someone gets it. Mm. Because in Lagos, like this, the people in Lagos have taken house as, 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 a, as a job, as a job opportunity. Mm. They don't want to work. They, they don't want to work. Thank you, Gabriel. All, the, all, all, the, all they need is that. Okay, let me use this. Let me build this structure of that. Uh, let me let me build this house. Uh, let me use this as uh, Let me be collecting the money mm. yearly. So if if the government. I'm sorry, the network is Thank bad. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriel. I think we get the drift of what yeah, you say. And yeah, this is, yeah. but they, these agencies exist. But they did their work. So, the, do you allow me to answer this question? Because you know why I'm saying this is that if the people that were supposed to stop me did not stop me, both of us need to share this problem. Exactly. If, yeah. Yes, so I don't want to totally, yes, not only build, but furnish everything. Uh, uh, now. Okay. So, agree. let me hear your thoughts. I agree. And I'm saying that. I mean, you came from the point of, are they going to be compensated? Mm. Yeah. And for me, it is categorically no. Okay. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. So if the government is serious about, dip, about making Lagos a mega city, mm. heads must roll. Mm. And there are consequences. Mm. So first of all, you that you bought property in that estate, mm. if they came to demolish, unfortunately, the estate owners should be sanctioned. Yeah. Number one, they should go to jail. Number one, they should because they have to look at their documentation. Yeah, trace who gave you approval for this, who gave you this, whose signature is here. As long as you are in Lagos, this path you are going to jail. It's not so. See, if if government begins to take that action, they will be silenced. Okay, so let, they're not going to take their action. So let me even add, let me add something. I'm add. not sure, I'm not sure that it is right to say that they won't take that action. I mean, if we say that they won't take action, we are always quick to say that. You know the interesting thing? It's not that government does not know what is right. Yeah. It's yeah, so, not. So, so this, I want to add something to that question. Mm. We know that somebody would have gone and written an approval for mm. the government, mm. right? Mm -hmm. But it takes forever. Sometimes they don't even get the approval. Mm. They will just go and build. Mm. But hold that thought. Um, I think we have a caller. Good evening. Good evening, my Mama. House. Hey, good evening. Uh. Is that how it is happening in Abia State? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what is happening in Abia State now? Once the agency 
Au moins, il y a un peu de notice authority. Notice abusing that has the effect. What they do is to just do the scavenger and bring it down. Thank you. So, a lot of things are involved. Mm. You see, what I have understood in this country is that some people allow substandard material mm -hmm. to come into our market. And secondly, there is what we call staging permits. Staging permits in every construction. If an officer who is assigned with the responsibility of monitoring a structure do his work the way he or she is supposed to do it, you start from the foundation with monitoring okay, it. Thank you, Loma. Then you will sign Absolutely. from the foundation. Thank you, Loma. Yes, the, this is talking about even, he is even talking about safety. This one is not even, it is government that demolished mm. it themselves. Mm. But what about me? I, some I, I think I strongly believe that some people in the government also are developers. What I'm trying to yeah. say is that they don't they are not the face mm. of the project. Mm. Yeah, they some some even do it as joint venture. They mm. probably have the land mm. and then they get mm. investors who want to. No, but even develop. those ones then, they will not go to those kind of lands that have been marked for demolition. They will never try it. Yeah. Because they have access to get the real yeah. land. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is the people that looked away. I was telling Jola about the, the bureaucracy, or I don't even know what to call it, the bottleneck mm -hmm. when uh, when um, getting approvals. Because sometimes it will take, like, it will take because forever, they yes. Oh my God! So what's the you, you apply for an approval for a is property. It, it, no, it, what is what? what no, I think saying? Saying? I think we all need no. to meet, meet each other in How bad? Yes. If we are if we are going the right way by trying to get the approval, it is only best that you actually give us the approval I at know. due time. I, I it know. doesn't make sense, right? Get, get trying to Jola, get approval now and then Jola, it I had twenty million. Wait, ah. you say you say what's the rush? Mm. I had twenty million to be able to build at least maybe two properties, mm. maybe in twenty twenty. Mm. Can, I, can that same 20 million no. build two properties? It cannot even build up so a complete no. one. So the question I will ask you is, does the end justify the means? It's not about the end justifying no, the means no. now. See, there is always, it is government. There is bureaucracy in government all over the world. True. There is. So we cannot say that, oh, because government is not doing this, I will take the shortcut. I am, who, 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 who gets to the end of the, this thing? Mm, you will find no, yourself to yeah. play. Can you fight the government? No. This one that has been can, can they the fight the government? No. You can't. Can they? Let's take yeah, comments. Can't. Let's take comments. <laughs> I, I, I rest, man. Today is not for me. It's our challenge. <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, so. your money don't enter one chance. <laughs> yeah, it's painful. It's, it's very painful. It's I saw a woman it crying. Is. I was like, oh my God. It's it's How can you be a household? But we cannot be sentimental about these things. And then the next minute, you are homeless. Mm. Homeless. So, Nigeria is. Good evening, ladies. Mm. On the unfortunate demolition of houses, I'll lay the blame squarely on Lagos State Government. Oh on Lagos State Government, all these years for not enforcing the so-called master plan. Who gives building approvals to developers? Mm. Do you know even the Parkview Estate in Ekoi is illegally built in ah. a reserved area for water to drain Absolutely. into the ocean? Absolutely, I heard that. I heard that. Until same government demolition illegal structures start bringing same government people to book to stop the rot, it is an unending cycle. Absolutely. The um, the entire real estate sector reeks of corruption, yes. like all other sectors in Nigeria. Again, on the price of real estate in Nigeria, generally it is distorted and fueled by dirty money from illicit sources for money laundry generally. Mm -hmm. We all know the real estate market prices in Nigeria totally disconnected. It's totally disconnected from the economic True. realities and fundamentals of the Nigerian economy. True. This is me or more later. Ah, me. It's actually very crazy. Because I hear you, I, whoever I, you are. I learned that very, the real estate style on the island mm. is even different from ah. the one on the mainland. Of course, goodness. Yeah. Because I think agency and legal on the mainland for rent is like 20% or something. That's that's outrageous. And they say it's a great On the mainland. That's but, yes. Yes. <laughs> no. outrageous. I mean, that's I mean, outrageous. We are because now there is a whole lot of issues on the island. Huh. So, so there is too much money, money coming uh, to the mainland. Yeah, so, 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 so let me even let's even let's bring this home, right? Mm. So I get the part of the bureaucracies and all of that is everywhere. Mm. But you see, for me, mm. 
a real solution would be because now let me bring in a conspiracy theory. Mm. <laughs> the conspiracy <laughs> theory is that certain people did not vote for certain people. For my cause on have a cover. For my cause on have a cover. Certain people did not vote for certain people. So, and it seems like it's a certain so, Montana. Well, it's alright. But guess what? <laughs> and that's why I actually love what Nii said mm. because, um, yeah. If you go and check Parkview Estate, mm. there is actually supposed to be like literally people built on Park. Mm -hmm. So if you want to destroy one, mm. yeah. do onto one as you do ah, onto yes, others. Let's yeah. go because truly, if Let's they really go. want to they, restructure, they didn't get lawyer. They did not get lawyer. <laughs> 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 hey, if you truly really want to restructure, if you truly want to restructure Lagos State, mm -hmm. a lot of properties have to go down. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's one on this our yes. Freedom Way. Remember we need a now? certain minister. The Freedom Way when they were building one particular mm -hmm. estate that they are building right on the canal. Mm -hmm. We need an air refi. A certain minister. Not too much work. Mm -hmm. Just an air refi. Let him come to Lagos. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. right now all of us will cry are you together. Ready? Yeah. Are you ready? We drink a rich together. Are you but ready? No, uh, there will be right. sanity. But there will be sanity. But truly, ah. right? Mm -hmm. I, I, and I don't ah. want us to whip up the same sentiments with it. I mean, there are things that the government have done that we're not particularly pleased with. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you see, in this particular case, mm -hmm. I think we should be a lot more responsible. Mm -hmm. As a house uh, buyer, prospective house buyer, yeah. do your checks. Jesus. Do your checks. It and is get important. a lawyer. Get, yeah. Please. <laughs> get a lawyer. Very, 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 that's why you see okay, all these honestly. Calling, but all these Baba Bill Kiss, listen, he come to now. No, Baba Bill Kiss will do his work oh, under God. the guidance of a professional. Let's see. Huh. No, but at the Mary wants to close the show for us. In fact, um, Mary, yeah. Mary Prop, before we go. Yes, follow, continue. Do ensure sure you follow us on Instagram. <laughs> at Race Your Africa, you can interact with us further. Absolutely. Yeah. Drop, drop, a, drop a comment, <laughs> like, share, invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. We don't, it don't do. <laughs> but we want to do a part two. Yes. yes. Part two on Thursday. We'll, we'll get a lawyer. Yeah, for we'll part get a lawyer, two. right? Yeah. We want to talk about all these places that they are shooting for noise pollution. Because it's another conspiracy. Yeah, that's another. Mm. Yeah, like another conspiracy. Like, like what exactly is making them shut places Absolutely. down? What are they doing? Why are they what, what, are the, what are the parameters? Yes. Because mm. some of these places they've been there. For a long time, and all of a sudden, they are shutting them down. We're just trying to get things right. Before we go, yes, I'm going to say. Thank you, ladies. Government will not wait for people to take the laws into their hands and still benefit from it. This was from the commissioner himself, Honorable Tokumba Waha. We'll see you guys tomorrow at 8 p.m. I mean, this was a great conversation. Thank you, ladies. We had fun. We had fun. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Bye.